Hi, good afternoon and welcome to Spoon by Raducas uh, at the Intercontinental Hotel Hong Kong. I'm Nicolas Deneu, I'm the head sommelier of the restaurant uh, for three years now. Uh, coming from Alain Ducasse, uh, Plat d'Antenne in Paris before, so I'm working for Alain Ducasse for seven years now and I'm actually taking care of uh, the, all the wines you can see around you here. Uh, we uh, do carry 650 wines on the, on the wine is at Spoon, uh, mainly French, European and New World uh, wine mix, so it's a, it's a very funny wine list, we try to, to cover every country in the world, uh, sometimes a bit more obscure regions, so we try to have fun with, with very good wines actually. Um, so the wine cellar here is all the way through the dining room, um, so you can actually see the nice display we have, uh, tidied by region here, I mean the Rhone Valley region right now. Um, so yeah, the wine list is uh, in the same time classic and a bit special and original and I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you why and uh, how we did something special at Spoon. Uh, we tried not to be so uh, classic, uh, not to say boring, uh, we tried to be more special, more original, we tried to find ideas uh, to make people come back of course but to make them feel special about wine and to have a, another wine experience at Spoon, uh, something more special again. Um, so three things I wanted to talk about uh, concerning the wine concept in Spoon. Um, three things that are right here. Uh, the first thing is actually the way we pour the wine by the glass at Spoon. Um, we talk about a very small decanter here um, that has been so successful since we launched uh, the new concept two years ago, nearly a bit more actually, in October 2009. Uh, we decided to pour uh, this, uh, the wine by the glass in this small decanter. Um, actually now when the guest orders uh, wine by the glass, he gets his own decanter, all right? And it's like one glass and a half. So we just pour the wine into this decanter. And from this decanter, we will pour the wine into the glass, but just half of it because the decanter um, keeps the, the wine at the right temperature. So it's, it allows us to uh, actually not to pour too much in the glass, to be more elegant and to, gi to give more than one glass to the guest. So the idea w w was to give more service and to, be, to bring something new and to be more generous um, with, with the guest, obviously, by giving more than a glass. Um, and no one decanter comes back full, of course, it's always empty, so this is a good thing. So this is one very special thing. We are the only one um, doing the wine by the glass uh, this way. Uh, currently, I'm very proud about it because it, it works very well and our customers uh, really enjoy it. Um, and then, by pouring more volume, uh, it allowed us to, um, to, oh, to go a bit further um, in, the, in the reflection. So we, we use a lot of uh, big format bottles um, to, f to pour the wine by the glass because by pouring these decanters, as I said, we do more volume. So by doing more volume, we can go for bigger content. So here, for example, we have a, a fantastic Riesling uh, from Alsace by Joss Meyer uh, in Magnum. So um, the domain Joss Meyer is making uh, those Magnums for us. Uh, and this is, uh, we, we are actually very proud of that because this is uh, exclusivity for, for Spoon. Uh, so we're talking about Magnums, but we're also talking about Jeroboam, uh, which, is, which is actually double Magnum. And this is uh, my dear friend Jean-Marie Bourgeois from uh, Domaine Henri Bourgeois in Chavignol, very close to Sancerre. So here we have Sancerre, uh, Cuvée Les Baronnes, 2010. So same exclusivity for Spoon. Uh, he makes manually Jeroboams only for us. So it's a lot of work for them. Uh, but again, by using this decanter, we, we really have uh, room to, to use such a big, uh, big, big bottle. And again, it shows something else to the guests because people are not yet used to see uh, such big bottles. So it's very, very interesting. So this is the wine by the glass service here, which is very important at Spoon. Um, uh, this is one of our main specialty, I would say. And then on the wine side, uh, we do have all the Bordeaux, Burgundy, Rhone Valley wines, obviously, Italian, Spanish, a lot of Portuguese wine as well. Um, so we try to push more like on the Portuguese side because people don't really know Portuguese wines. Uh, we do have crazy German and, and, and Austrian wines. 
uh, but we do go also for uh, Greek wines, uh, amazing Greek wines, uh, amazing Lebanese wines with Chateau Musard. So it's always promoting, um, I don't want to say crazy things because when I say that people say I'm crazy, but <laughs> uh, special things. Uh, when, when I pour for um, for a wine pairing that we, we actually have on the set menu that uh, the chef will present. Uh, when I pour a Chateau Musard from Lebanon or a Tino's from Greece, then people are very surprised to see that even though it's not French or you know, Itali uh, Italian or Spanish, the quality is here and the volume of the wine is still here. So we, we always try to, of course, be classic because we are in a fine dining French restaurant we forget it <laughs> but also we try to be to push like small domains small estates uh, to be a bit more well known because they really deserve it as well so it's a bit of everything mixed together at spoon and uh, well you really have to come and see me and I will introduce my wine list with pleasure with a great cuisine we have and uh, hope we can have fun all together look forward to welcoming you in spoon very soon <laughs>